Hi again. Um, I just wanted to follow on my latest vlog and I hope you enjoyed the um, taster tape in Africa. Um, over the last couple of days, I just wanted to share something else with you regarding the FGM and something that I found pr pretty horrific. Well, absolutely disgustingly horrific. Um, Jean, the founder of the charity, Jean Anderson, um, she sent me a link to a film called Desert Flower. This story is the most amazing inspirational story I think I've ever seen. It's about a young girl who's a Somalian nomad girl who basically is in the same situation of many who we are sponsoring and helping in Africa um, got cut. In the film, she got cut at the age of three, but she was actually age five in real life. It's a lady called Waris Deary and she basically flees her country on her own at the age of 13 after being cut at the age of three and goes manages somehow to get to england somebody helps her get a passport she gets to england to the somalian embassy and she manages to um get a job she then gets scouted by a famous ph photographer called terence donovan and becomes a supermodel I mean, this woman is incredible. She has gone on to do so much for um, the FGM and she's an activist and she's started her own charity called Desert Flower. She does a similar thing to us as she sponsors girls. Anyone can donate. It's in Somalia where she works with, but generally in Africa. Um, she's a pretty amazing woman. But I just wanted to share with you the the horror, as all can describe it, um, that I experienced when I watched this film. film but the I fact that this is what goes on, and in Somalia, they're as young as three, sometimes even younger, when this happens to them. And it just, honestly, it made my stomach churn, made me sick. I mean, I, I almost couldn't watch. Um, it's... <clears throat> I've, I've filmed my reaction to the clip and you can see just how upsetting it is and I've put a little bit of the clip in there too um, and also the speech at the end is what Jean sent to me is what made me want to watch the film because I didn't know about the film it was released in 2011 if you can find it and you can watch it it's real real shocker and maybe it might make a difference once you've watched it and you will hopefully be able to get on board and help change this horrific, barbaric mutilation to women. This is the part when she's just breaking on the verge of a massive career and she um, is going to tell her story to one of the big magazines she's going to be on the cover of. And the lady who's interviewing her says, tell me the day that changed your life. And she basically relives when she got caught, which is when she was three years old. And it's very cleverly filmed. Um, it just made me cry, like tears rolling down my face because this little girl is being taken by a mum person that she trusts most in her whole life to a rock and, a, and an old lady who they force open her legs and cut her and she's screaming and blood is everywhere and if any, the people that don't know about FGM please read up on it it just absolutely horrifies me
and I just finished watching the film. Um, a 3,000 years this had been happening and um, just, just, just goes to show how important it is that now's time to change. I can't even believe it still happens and it still happens all over the world in so many different countries including the UK. Makes me so sad, I can't believe anyone would do that to a child. Mutilation is what it is. It's abuse and it needs to stop now. I love my mother. I love my family and I love Africa. For over 3,000 years, the family truly believes that a daughter who is not circumcised is not clean because what exists between our legs is unclean. So it must be removed and sealed up as proof of virginity and virtue. And in the wedding night, the husband takes a blade or a knife and cuts it open before he forces himself into his bride. An uncircumcised girl cannot marry. Consequently, she's expelled from her village and put on the same level as a whore. This practice continues even though it is not written in the Quran. It is accepted that as a result of this mutilation, women are sick mentally and physically for the rest of their lives. The same women who are the backbone of Africa. I survived, but my two sisters didn't. Sophia bled to death after being mutilated. And Amina died in childbirth with the baby in her belly. How much stronger would our continent be if this senseless ritual were abolished? There is a proverb in my country. The last camel in line walks as quickly as the first. Whatever happens to the least of us has an effect on all of us. When I was a child, I said, I do not want to be a woman. Why, when it is so painful and so unhappy? But now that I am grown, I am proud to be who I am. But for the sake of all of us, let us try and change what that means to be a woman.